news and I hear it again, is that a protest and a lockdown? Oh, we need to get back to, yo. Cool. I understand you didn't want to go back to work. That's a thing. Right, but what, you'd rather risk your life to make money? And that's the other thing. You want to talk, these motherfuckers, oh, we locked up in the house while you fucking working, like to nurses and shit. Like, motherfucker, they working into war zones. They were walking into ground zero, like. Facts. Good morning, as a mob. It's currently 6.30 a.m. and I'm getting ready to head out. I'm usually up this early to make my food run, but today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different that involves me going through some of the boroughs. So I figured we could take a little tour along the way to see how things are looking out there. Like I said, the only time I do get to go to the supermarket is to pick up essentials for myself and my parents, but I'm also gonna be doing a favor for one of my relatives, which, by the way, I have enough protection to do that now. Like I always said, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Allow me to introduce myself. Who knows what dastardly crime might perpetrate next? He's a very clever arch criminal who must be put away. Another innocent victim. I don't know. I don't So we're currently in downtown Manhattan, population 1.6 million with 20,000 infected. Usually during this time of the morning, you'll see a lot of people suited up, up and down, going to work. Tourists excited to be here again, ready to explore the city. But as you can see behind me, there's nobody in sight. And usually this place is jam-packed. You can barely walk through here. This is Broadway in Chambers. Wall Street down the block, hundreds of people going out from the train station, people going to court. It's just total chaos in the morning over here in New York. I've been in New York all my life and I have never seen Manhattan this empty. <laughs>
So behind me we got Yankee Stadium, home of the Bronx Bombers. Bronx population of 1.4 million with 15,000 infected. This area too is always busy, especially during baseball season. Which by the way, the four trains, the last place you want to be during the baseball game. The Bronx is also home of one of the best MCs that ever touched the mic, Big Pun. If you didn't know, here's a fun fact. The Bronx Zoo is actually the biggest metropolitan zoo in the US, which is also where the lions and tigers tested positive for CV. They believe a staff member passed it along to them. Luckily they caught it on time, so no other animals were infected. So you usually this place will be flooded with people all the time. Also, the Bronx used to be one of my favorite spots to hang out back in the days. Looks like it changed. If you ever take a flight to NYC, the first bird you're gonna touch is Queens. That's because both airports are located in this borough. Current population, 2.2 million, with 49,000 infected. Queens is the most infected borough of New York City. If you've been keeping up with the news, then you probably recognize this building behind me. I believe it was around March, 13 or 14 people died from CV within 24 hours at this location. It's considered the epicenter of the crisis. If you've been keeping up with the vlogs, then you know I'll be making my runs every once in a while to go get some food for us and my parents. And I remember the first time I went to get my mother's medication, which is not too far from here. This line that you see behind me was way worse. Right now, I see 30 to 40 people online compared to before I couldn't even count. I recently saw a video of a guy who came over here. He was filming with his phone. He tried to expose the hospital. He was basically trying to say that everything was fake, that the news was just exaggerated and that we're amplifying the fact of how many people really come here. Por favor, yo quiero que tú vaya al hospital en Queens. Por favor, ve allá y enseña cómo está eso. Esto no es libre, tiao, ni nada de esa vaina, mire. Now in the video, there really weren't a lot of people there. He actually walked through the whole barricade. Then he walked into the tents. There was nobody there. After that, he went into the hospital and there was nobody there as well. Then the security guard came and kicked him out. All I know is that when I came here, it was packed. And even now, like I said, there's about 30 to 40 people here. What's up? Six people? Okay, so the gentleman just told me that the first three days when it started, it was jam packed. It was a surge. After that, he said the line would just reach there. There wasn't a lot of people after that. So I don't know, man. What do you guys think? So the man that just told me that he lived here for many years, he passes through here all the time, and he's telling me that it's not real. You don't really see a lot of people here. Now the man behind me, he just told me that he works here, and he sees people here all the time. So I don't know. Like I said, what do you guys think?
by the way, I'm sorry if I didn't get a lot of footage for you guys. Like I said, I needed to do something for my relatives, so I wasn't really able to stop and kill time doing that. But so far, I think it went well. There's one more place I want to stop at before we leave Queens. I mentioned to you guys earlier, I have to make a full run, so that's where we're going now. That was intense. What you saw was just a couple seconds, but it took about three hours. And by the way, all of the gloves that I use, I don't throw them on the floor like everyone else. I put them in a bag. I carry my own little bag. And before I get in the car, all of this gets sprayed down. I know there's a lot of complaints about cross-contamination, but believe me, I'm always aware. Now this building you see behind me, you probably recognize it too. This is White Gulf Hospital. This is where the first CV patient in NYC passed. And it's also where my son Jesus was born. We're currently in Brooklyn, population 2.6 million, with 42,000 infected. So for those who are new to the channel, this is my home, my birthplace. And unfortunately, this is the second borough in NYC with the most cases. I could tell you personally that Brooklyn's a busy place, especially here. It's semi-gentrified but it's always busy. There's 36,000 people for every square mile. So you can just imagine how crowded it gets on a normal day. But life is a normal and it hasn't been for a while now. We've all been staying home, patient, keeping positive and doing our very best to keeping ourselves entertained. At the end of the day, us New Yorkers, we're gonna pull through and make it past these difficult times. Just like we have made it through past tragedies. One of the boroughs in New York I was unable to make it to was Staten Island because it was too out of the way for me. Their current population is half a million with 12,000 infected. But to anyone who's watching, the people in New York, people all around the world this crisis has affected all of us in different ways but just keep those prayers strong god will never fail you and hopefully this will be all over sooner than we think Working into war zones, they were walking into ground zero. Like, Thanks. in case you're wondering, these are the trailers where they put in all the deceased people. Some people dropped off flowers. Some people put up signs to thank all the people that work here. I have a friend that works here. I just ran into him. He told me about a month ago. Every day during his shift, at least ten people were dying every day. Got some mail for Kim. She loves getting mail from you guys. <laughs> 